Okay, it's a it's a brew day for me today, and uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to make is that uh, DIY beer lager. Uh, um, this time using Mateka hops as the uh, uh, aroma flavor hops. So um, I don't, I didn't make a video last time, so I'm just going to do a quick video of this demonstrating how I do it. So here are the ingredients I'm going to use for the beer. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use the Cooper's Original Series Lager. The uh, uh, additional fermenter, I plan, uh, fermentable, I plan on using are, is uh, Brees CBW Pills and Light. Um, for this beer, if you, if you wanted, you could use any unhopped light malt extract. Uh, I do prefer to use Cooper's as it at least uh, was rated as the most fermentable of uh, malt extracts. And um, I'm using four ounce of Carapils malt as my specialty grains. And of course the uh, variation from my last brew is the uh, Muteka, New Zealand Muteka hops. So I'm really curious about uh, using these hops never used them before so we'll see how that works out um, it says it's uh, got a lemon lime tropical fruit aroma and it can be used on uh, European lagers Belgian and English ales also Pilsen, Pilsners my last uh, uh, ingredient or my last yeah ingredient would be the sack lager yeast and I'm going to substitute out the uh, uh, ale yeast, which is included in the Cooper's Original Series Lager. Now this tin of lager is a little old. Um, I have a few laying around. I, I don't want to waste them, so uh, I still, you know, I know from experience I can get some good beer out of them. Uh, I don't encourage that. I encourage getting the freshest malt, hopped malt extract out there as possible because it'll produce a better beer. Cheers! Okay, it's time to roll with my beer. Um, got everything here. I got my cart with my uh, burner and uh, what I'll do is I'll take my burner get it all set up looks like the pots need to be a little scrubbed out and this ingredient filter uh, anyway we'll get this all set up and then we'll get ready to go so I started it out by bringing a couple liters of water. Uh, I, I, I plan on bringing it up to a boil, then adding the crystal malt. Um, I don't have a muslin bag this time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it through my big industrial strainer back into the fermenter, or into the fermenter, and then pour it from the fermenter back into the pot, and then add the uh, muteka hops. Okay, so. This is going to come up to a boil, add the crystal malt, let it steep for about 15 minutes, or simmer for about 15 minutes, so I can get the color and the flavoring. Strain into the fermenter, back into the pot, add the uh, Muteka hops, and then we should be good to go for that. Add it, and then after that, 10 minutes in there. Uh, Add the contents of the kits, top up to 20 liters, add the uh, sachet of sap lager yeast, and ferment it around uh, 50 degrees. Okay, so I strained out the, uh, the grain from the 2 liters of water, and now I'm going to bring it up to a boil again, and then uh, steep the uh, moteka hops for 10 minutes. And next to that is a, is a pot to boil water in so I can uh, get the uh, malt extract out of the cans properly. Just wanted to take a quick, quick sniff of these uh, Moteka hops. I've never had them before. Yeah. Should be interesting. Um, lemon, lime, tropical fruit. Hmm, we'll see. Be fun. Okay, it's about uh, 24 hours after um, making this brew and uh, adding the yeast and you can see a nice layer of uh, calm fermentation going on 
Temperature range is uh, about 12 degrees Celsius to 14, no, actually 14, 16 is a uh, nice range there. And we'll keep it there for about um, three to four weeks or so. Um, anyway, this should be a nice brew. Mm, beer.